So what, uh... How many rocks have we thrown? I think Mark yeah, has one left, right? slipped and then... The rock obviously hit him. I don't know if any rocks tech go. No, he didn't hit him. No, no. He went to the whole thing. He was trying to move over and he slipped. His feet slipped and then his feet kind of went down and then his head snapped down. That's all I saw. He just couldn't hold himself in the room. Sorry, I don't think the rock thing happened at all. Mark got one rock to go. Mark has one. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. I, th I, th I think the rule is Mark would throw a third one and then the lead has to throw that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So Mark will throw two. I'm wondering whether an ambulance will throw That's what we're worried about. I think that's the rule. They can't throw one. Right. I think they need an ambulance. Yeah, I do too. In a row, right. I understand that, but, but let's get medical professional. professional. Okay, thank you. Okay. And then it's, well, he's gone yeah. now. So a dramatic turn of events here in the quarterfinals in our feature match. Brad Gushu of Newfoundland and Labrador suffering uh, a mishap as he lost his balance right here. The players are watching this to see if Brad touched anything, and he did not. So they'll continue to... Uh, at least they know what what happened. So Pierce <laughs> showing what had happened. The players. So we're being told that uh, Brad Gushu is being put in an ambulance and being taken to hospital. And uh, fortunately, in terms of time and the possibility of Brad Gushu getting back into this quarterfinal, the hospital's right across the street. Yeah, he should he should get immediate medical attention, which is great. As you yeah, say, so likely going to need some stitches. And maybe even a concussion protocol. He went down very, very hard on his face on that ice. So Mark Shirk and his ice team continue to uh, clean the ice, make the repairs at the scene of uh, Brad Gushu's ill-fated fall here in the fourth end of this man's quarterfinal. Three remaining members of the Gushu team. Jeff Walker, Brett Gallant, and Mark Nichols have had discussions about uh, going on without their skip. I don't think you actually can hit nose. I don't think you have I think all of it. And Laycock no, continues to assess uh, the end. Nope. Well, I did, but I don't know if he has a stop. But what do you guys want to do? It's kind of... We'll we'll if you hit it right here, it's perfect. Can we leave that for a bit? They're just talking yeah, about their options. I throw just one throw more. Two. So Mark, you're two gonna more. throw three. Two more. I'm gonna throw three. This yeah, but, end? Well, not yeah, three total. Yeah, you I throw last. last. Three. You threw one already, right? Yeah, so I'd only have one. Oh, okay, so I get, I get two. I would get two more. Yeah. Okay. You can't throw more than three. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, I'm pretty sure the rule book says the lead would throw the next one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. That's. Yeah. Group more time or you want to you want to go up to you guys uh, <laughs> I, I think we're you feel okay you're okay. fine okay. Are you good? Ready. all right good so pierre charette discussing with the gushu team um how they might go forward with three members mark nichols can only throw three stones so it looks like they're going to go back to the lead jeff walker who have to throw the last rock yes that's in the rule book that's fine so mark mark will, mark will get to throw one extra and then uh, jeff will throw the last stone for this end for this end and then they'll go three three two moving forward to be honest yeah at least i know and then after you'll you can come in the ring yeah this is a one Take this out of the game, I guess. Hey, here you go. So the question is, how does this Gushu team react, recover to seeing their skip go down and be taken away to hospital? Well, nobody knows. That's we're about to find out. I, I, I can't recall this ever happening, Kevin. This is, yeah, I, I don't remember this ever happening in anything I've seen. Yeah, it's uh, unusual to say the least. Big weight moving both red stones. You were right, Paul. One will uh, stay on the edge of the 12 foot. I think that's okay. Oh, it is. Good as we get done, really. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta run back. Well, reset. Gushu's yeah, got it. the hammer here. Team Gushu's got the hammer here now, so uh, what do you like, that, Brett, that red in the back 12 might drop? come into play, uh, actually. Marty <laughs> Nichols making sure they get rid of uh, one of the yellow stones, potentially setting up for a count, multiple score. I don't even know. This is so easy, eh, Brett? Could nose that too, Jeff. 
I think we can get under. I don't know if getting under is, is good. I think if you know, well, it might be I mean, better. I mean, when I say get under, I mean just a piece under. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Just got to watch this, because if we jam that, that's out of play anyway. Yeah. Just a hair low. Yeah. Well, on the bright side, the uh, one sweeper theory is going to be put to the test here for, like <laughs> for Team Green. Like <laughs> true. Like they will only have one out of necessity. Okay. You want this one? Oh, I'm good. Okay. Feels weird. I still got two rocks on. No, <laughs> that look good, Mark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other side, Kim. You'll bump that yellow stone. Perfect, just right far to enough the house, to the yeah. edge of the 12. Yeah, just far enough to where he's lying second and third. So pretty good shot. Careful with that. Okay. Laycock, lying two. What rock do you want to throw? The three or the seven? <laughs> As this Don't Gushu matter. team scrambles to recover from the injury to Brad Gushu. Nice draw there from Laycock. Split the rings. Whoa. Whoa. Just past his high whoa, whoa. guard. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. shot. Yeah. Yeah. And right to the forefoot. Oh! Off his own stone, takes the red right out of the Great rings shot. to lie three. Great shot there by Laycock. <laughs> That's a part of Steve's game that has improved immensely over the last couple of seasons. Well, and uh, what he's done is forced Jeff Walker, career lead, to draw <laughs> the forefoot against three. And this is not easy. Now, Jeff Walker. He's originally from Beaver Lodge, Alberta, where he skipped his team to third at the 2011 Alberta Provincials, losing the semifinal to Kevin Cooey. So yeah. he's had a little bit of experience, but a big pressure shot here. Well, and uh, the whole timing of it. I mean, this is uh, the good news is he throws lots of draws as a, front, as a lead, so he'll be close. Last rock here in the fourth end. A big shot for the lead. Subbing for his skip, so Brad Gushu. Line's good. So close. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good, Brett. Line's good. Line's good. Nichols and Gallant on that stone hard. Trying to drag it. Line's good. Line's good. Great shot. Under pressure. Big time pressure shot for Jeff Walker. He bites the button for one. Against three counters from Steve Laycock. Well, you know, they were already kind of the hometown favorites here being East Coasters, but uh, this uh, situation with Brad has got the crowd on its feet. Hard, hard for line. Hard for line. Keep going. Galant Keep Nichols good. working line's hard. Good, line's good, line's good, line's good. Yep, Sweepers line's all over it. And Jeff Walker, the career lead, delivers. In the absence of their injured skip, Brad Gushu, they're on the board. Tied at one through four ends.